three types of movement in Half-Life Alex. Sign me up, sign me up! None of that instant transmission stuff, thank God. So three types of movement are confirmed to be in Half-Life Alex. The first type is your standard teleportation to get around in the virtual world. Not a big fan of this type of movement, not gonna lie. Really takes me out of the moment to moment gameplay when I'm under a balcony and all of a sudden point click boom, I'm on the top of it looking down below where I just was. It's not immersive, it just it totally breaks my immersion. More so instantaneous teleportation is what I'm talking about here where there's just no transition at all, but then you have Blink, which is that fade in, fade out animation in between teleporting around. Uh, that's the lesser evil of the two for me personally. So teleportation, that's the first type. Then you have the next type, which is smooth locomotion. Think your traditional console game with analog movement. This type of movement is what most VR adopters want in their games. Having dabbed in VR myself, I'm not really a fan of teleportation, so I would play Half-Life Alex with smooth artificial locomotion rather than just having to teleport around. Something about having the ability to walk around freely in a VR world sounds super appealing considering I've never played a VR game with smooth locomotion. Now, people can be prone to motion sickness with this type of movement, so who knows, maybe I'll be singing the praises of how good Teleport is when I finally getting around to playing Half-Life Alex. It honestly just depends on how they implement Teleport. But let's get to the final type of movement. Uh, the final type of movement is most similar to Doom VFR's movement. The movement in Doom VFR has that teleport mechanic where you can point, click, and it shuffles you along from A to B, but then it also has a feature where you can just kind of move forward, move forward in a direction, and then you can change which direction you're facing and kind of shuffle along that way instead of having to just use solely teleport. Um, so, like I said, I'll show you some footage so you guys can clearly see what I'm talking about here, but it's an interesting way to approach movement in VR. Definitely not what I would choose, but Valve gave us a variety of options to get around in Half-Life Alex, dependent on player preference, which I am all about. Are you someone who's new to VR and still getting used to moving around in a VR space, so you want to avoid getting motion sick? Then just get around by teleporting. Are you one of those people who's been a fanatic of VR and you've been playing for a couple years now and you want the most immersive experience possible and you aren't easily prone to motion sickness? Then just go with smooth locomotion. Valve wants to make this game revolutionary while still being as accessible as possible for VR fanatics and skeptics alike. Looking at movement in VR in other games hasn't really been all that great. Most games have you stationary in one place, mainly ducking and dodging, but never giving you true freedom of movement. They could also have you on rails like a roller coaster, showing you cool scenarios, but you don't actually have the freedom to explore outside of what the game wants to show you. What if, what if I want to take the red pill? I don't want to take the blue pill. I don't want... Now, do I still enjoy these types of VR games with this movement? Definitely. Super Hot VR, for example, is one of the best games I've played on virtual reality, and it's that stationary duck and dodge type movement I just described. Would I have preferred to be able to move around freely? Uh, yeah, because that's how I got around in the original Super Hot. It's fine that smooth locomotion wasn't included, but like I said, it's great to have those options. Valve, I'm really looking forward to how this one is going to turn out and I'm sure everyone else here is too. What do you all think about the movement options in Half-Life Alex? Which one are you gonna choose? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always guys, subscribe, or, or uh, or uh, I got nothing.